Megamind 2 and Joker 2 are no longer the most disappointing sequels of 2024, because New Norm Episode 2 is finally here, baby, and god damn it, is it a downgrade from the first episode in every single way. This whole thing reminds me of that anime that came out recently, where everyone said, like, the first episode was a masterpiece and a work of art and whatever, and then the second episode is complete dog sh in comparison. Like, I believe there was some behind-the-scenes drama that went on with the show, and that's why Episode 2 is inferior in every single way to Episode 1. Like, the animation quality is worse. I have no idea what the name of the show is, I only know about it because people say, like, Episode 1 is amazing and Episode 2 is garbage, but that's all I could think of. That's how I feel right now with the new norm. I feel betrayed and heartbroken more than anything else. So for those who have no idea what the hell the new norm is, the new norm is the self-proclaimed first ever cartoon on Twitter. No, I'm not calling it X. The show is about the new norm and how things should go back to the old norm. It's a right-wing cartoon, it contains a lot of anti-woke jokes, pronouns, everyone's easily offended nowadays, the whole song and dance. The first episode of the show was released in late June of this year, and almost immediately it was wild widely ridiculed all over the internet. It was trash, but it was funny trash, and so it would garner an ironic cult following. Despite that though, it would be a long time. A very long time before we got an episode 2. I swear to god, almost every single day I would constantly go back to the new Norm Twitter account to see maybe episode 2 was dropped already, maybe they announced episode 2 and when it's gonna come out. I'm not even kidding, I would do that. Because the moment episode 2 dropped, regardless of how it would turn out, I would make a video on it, just like that. But we never got an episode 2, not for a long time. At some point around August, I briefly considered making a video going over the new norm and whether it was a joke cartoon or not. Because as soon as the first episode dropped, I had this question lingering on inside me. Was the new norm intentionally bad? Is this a joke cartoon? The fact that it had been months since the first episode came out and we had gotten no updates on an episode 2 made me think, maybe this was never supposed to be a full-fledged cartoon. Maybe this quote-unquote first episode was actually just a one-off short that a few people made. They made this intentionally bad cartoon just so that they could get a reaction from people, which they did. And then once the funny bad novelty of the show wore off, they would just take the money and run, and just like that we would never get an episode 2. And they would never announce it either, they would just go away, they would just abandon it basically. Never acknowledging the new norm ever again. That would turn out to be false in early September when it was announced that indeed there was going to be more new norm stuff coming soon. And then later on it would be announced that the new norm episode 2 would be released on October 31st, just in time for the upcoming elections on November 5th. Fifth. Reminder, episode 1 came out June 25th, episode 2 came out October 31st. Now I have to remember that this is an extremely small cartoon that most likely has a micro budget or no budget at all. It feels weird to call the new norm an indie cartoon, but at the same time, it's not this big corporate Disney cartoon either. So, you know, if it's not one, then it's the other. When you take into consideration the possibility that this show has has like 10 people at most working on it, then you kind of understand why it took so long for episode 2 to come out. This whole thing just reminds me of The Red Ape Family, which is another cartoon that I looked at a long time ago. The Red Ape Family was this NFT based cartoon back when those were a big thing. Only three episodes were made and they were all released extremely far apart from each other. We are almost at the end of 2024 and we have gotten no episode 4, so I think it's safe to say episode 3 is the last we'll ever see of the Red Ape family. And the Red Ape family is another similar instance where I have no idea if it was made to be intentionally bad as a joke or if it's sincere in its badness. But I'm getting off topic. Episode 2 of The New Norm has finally been released and I'm just gonna say holy sh**.
It is a downgrade from the first episode. It is worse than the first episode in almost every single way. I know you might be saying, why would this be a downgrade if the show was never good to begin with, but let me just explain the difference. Episode 1 is funny bad. I didn't look at it as being funny bad at the time. There was a little bit of a funny bad feel to it when I first watched it, but I didn't really feel it all that much. In retrospect, though, I find episode 1 to be hilariously bad if it actually is 100% sincere and it's not made to be intentionally bad. And then episode 2 is just garbage in comparison. It's not funny bad, it's not- it, nothing happens at all in episode 2. There's like basically no plot at all. I guess episode 1 doesn't really have much of a plot either, but like there's more stuff to talk about with episode 1 compared to episode 2. We waited over 4 months for episode 2 and this is what we get in return. God f damn it. I've never felt more disappointed before in my entire life. This isn't really gonna be me talking about New Norm Episode 2, so much so as it is gonna be me talking about, like, is the New Norm actually, like, a genuine cartoon? This is gonna be me going further into that debate of, like, was the New Norm made to be bad on purpose, or is this 100% serious and genuine? Because Episode 2 has made me question that even more than I did before. To be honest, I kinda saw this coming. Episode 1 was funny bad, but it just had this novelty feel to it, where it's like, there was no way they could replicate this for episode 2. That's the thing with memes, a lot of them just come and go and that's it. On rare occasions you get a meme that will just never die, but the new norm was not going to be one of those memes. Eventually the funny bad novelty of the first episode would just wear off and then you're just- no one cares anymore about your show. Assuming both episodes were made with serious intentions. If this came out much closer to episode 1, then it would be a different story, maybe, but this came out over 4 months later. By that point, the novelty of the first episode just kind of went away. I don't even think there's any way for episode 2 to win, to be honest. If episode 2 tried to replicate the same novelty feel of episode 1, then it wouldn't be as funny, because you're just doing the same exact jokes again a second time, and it's not as funny. What the episode does instead is not have any of the novelty that the first episode had, but then that makes it disappointing because it's like, what's the point? We waited over four months for this and it's not even ironically bad, it's not even funny bad. There's quite literally no way for episode two to win. So let's talk about it, shall we? If you enjoyed this video then be sure to like and if you're new to the channel maybe consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated and with all that said, let us try to review episode 2, because believe me, there's almost nothing that happens in this episode. If Kamala wins, we're out of here. If Trump wins, we're out of here. <laughs> Bro, how the hell were they able to make Elon Musk even uglier in this episode than in the first episode? Like, how were they able to do that? Why does Bro look like a super villain now? Like, he's planning to take over the world. I know Elon Musk is a terrible person and he's done an awful job at running Twitter. I can verify both of those things from personal experience. But this is something that's supposed to be in support of Elon. This is supposed to be a pro Elon cartoon. So it makes no sense for him to look like a villain in this. And then, of course, course, you also have the giga-chatification of Donald Trump over here. That's a sentence that I just said, which I feel is a lot more self-explanatory in comparison, so there's not really much for me to say about it. No, they eat dogs and cats. Your side eats dogs and cats. Our guy just sings about it. They're eating the dogs. <laughs> Maybe we all can get along. There, on the salt roof. Oh. No! Ooh. Ha! <laughs> A DEI hire. Guys, what the f is DEI? 
I keep seeing anti-woke weirdos bring it up and I have no idea what it is or where it came from. I have no idea why seemingly every single anti-woke person decided to make it a new buzzword. It's the same thing with Sweet Baby. I keep getting videos recommended to me against my will that are like, oh, Sweet Baby is ruining gaming and whatever, Sweet Baby is making video games woke, and I'm just like, what the f*** is Sweet Baby? Is that a developer? What, what games do they make? I, I don't get it. Yes, there are a lot of genuine issues within the game industry right now, but I don't think Sweet Baby, whatever the hell that is, is one of them. Whatever Sweet Baby is, I'm just gonna ask one question. Will it affect GTA 6 in any way, shape, or form? If not, then I don't care about it at all. Sweet Baby is none of my business. Even then, I don't even get what the pun is supposed to be. What's the joke? A dei aya? What the f***? does that mean? I wasn't expecting high-class, top-tier humor from a show that has non-bonary studies as its best joke, but still. I wonder what this button does. Now we're stuck here with you. We're stuck here with you. And they them. Communist homophobe. My plan worked. They're destroying each other. On yet. What do we do now? Loot? I need a beer. Wait, where's our dog? They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Of the people. I love how you could very easily tell that this song was made with AI, which only makes me scared at the possibility that the first episode's theme song was made with AI as well. Yo, ever since I made the first video on this show, I have had the theme song for this f***ing thing stuck in my head. It's like this really sh country butt rock song and it, it just gets stuck in my head like randomly i find myself humming it i find myself thinking of it it gets stuck in my head real easily even though it's garbage for the love of god please don't tell me episode one's a theme song was made with ai as well i've already felt enough betrayal right now i don't need even more betrayal Do more same as the old Everything's changing and I don't know and yes, that is the entire episode. Nothing happens in it. And so as a result, there's almost nothing to say about the episode. The only thing that I can really say about episode 2 is that it makes me think even more about whether this is an intentionally bad cartoon or not. I didn't think that f***ing New Norm episode 2 would have parallels to Joker 2, but here we are. Instead of giving the fans what they want, it's just a complete complete 180. Those that went into episode 2 expecting it to have the same quality as episode 1 are going to be thoroughly disappointed by how boring it is. Like, there's just nothing. It's a nothing burger is what it is. They could have very easily just repeated the same things that they did for episode 1, but they chose not to. Why is Vladimir Putin in this episode? I would have thought this would have tied into something relating to Ukraine, but no. There's nothing at all. Episode 1 is at least funny bad. At least there's stuff that happens in it. You can get entertained by it, even if it's ironically. There's nothing in episode 2. It's just boring. It's a waste of time. If you were expecting more of the same funny bad garbage from episode 1, you're gonna be highly disappointed. Reminder, we waited over 4 months for this garbage, and this is what we get. What a disappointment, seriously. But wait, that's not all. There's officially a merch store for the new norm, so now you can officially get new norm merchandise. Let the man himself explain it for y'all. I'm Norm. I want normal beer. Problem is, nowadays, beer's covered in rainbows and drag queens. If only there was a better way. Turn any beer into normal beer with 
The Normal Beer Cozy. Get the Normal Beer Cozy now and make every beer a normal beer. Yes, there now exists officially licensed new Norm merchandise for you to purchase. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to buy a shirt from here just for the novelty of it, but looking at the prices, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Then again, I did go out of my way to spend $200 to own the Nut Shack on DVD, so you know what, money doesn't mean anything to me. Money is nothing but a joke to me. I don't know how to feel now knowing that I could potentially stumble upon someone wearing a new Norm t-shirt out in public. Oh yeah, just because I said that I considered buying something from this place for novelty purposes doesn't mean you have to go and do that yourself. Don't go and steal mommy and daddy's credit card just so you could spend $50 on a f***ing new Norm shirt. It's not worth it, I promise y'all. And that's about it. That's where the episode ends. That's New Norm Episode 2. A complete disappointment in every single way. Maybe I was expecting too much out of this, but I don't care. All this does is make me scared for what episode 3 could end up being like if we ever get episode 3. Surprisingly enough, this doesn't change my ranking for the show on the Search for the Worst cartoon ranking list. I feel like it wouldn't be until episode 3. Again, if we do get an episode 3, that's what will determine whether I move it up higher or lower, or if it stays where it's at. If episode 3 is a return to form, a return to the funny bad nature of episode 1, then I move it up higher. If episode 3 is just like episode 2, then I move it down even lower. And then there's a very real possibility that episode 3 could end up being intentionally bad on purpose. Again, this could go in so many different ways. Maybe this show was made to be intentionally bad from the very beginning. Maybe the first episode was made with serious intentions, but all subsequent episodes were made as jokes. It's not explicit, it's very subtle, but maybe episode 2 was made to be intentionally bad, and all the subsequent episodes would be intentionally bad as well. There's no way the people behind this show are not aware at all of the ironic fan base their show has. So I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they just embrace that ironic fan base and they become self aware. And then, ironically enough, the show stops being funny when they become self aware of their badness. And then again, there's the possibility that the show could be intentionally bad from the very beginning. They're just not acknowledging it at all. If it ever comes out that the new norm was was intentionally bad from the start, then that no longer makes it funny now. It's only funny if it's unintentional, if it's sincere in its badness. And if they ever decide to come out and say, yeah, the new norm was made as a joke, it was made to be intentionally bad, you still have that trust issue inside of you. Are they being sincere about the show being intentionally bad, or is this just damage control? It's all just a confusing mess, that's what it is. I spent 20 minutes on the previous New Norm video talking about how I hate the Disney Renaissance for nothing. I voiced an opinion that for sure lost me a lot of credibility within the animation community for nothing. I hope you're happy now, Norm, you f bastard. After everything we've done together, this is how you treat me back in return? Never meet your heroes, kids. Never meet your heroes. If Mr. Burcham Season 2 ends up being the same thing, then I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Stay strong, Burcham bros. Stay strong. There's no way our other goat could let us down. Surely he cannot. Anyways, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, and if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I'll see you all next time. Adios.